the container camp out there in the jungle, you know, that's run by the government, cost 18 million euros. I don't know how much money was put in this jungle. Uh, I don't know, a million euros, something like that, you know, maybe two. But, you know, add a couple million euros and you're going to have a nice place. Yeah. And it's not going to cost 18 million euros. Yeah. Yeah. And this is only for 1,500 people. Here you have 5,000 people. So for much less, of a much smaller price, you would get something that works much better. Just let the people do it yeah, themselves. You know, yeah, the citizens, you know. I mean, obviously, it's not what the government wants. But the government is not supposed to want its own thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. the government is there Just to, to work represent with the what the citizens want. Yeah. You know, they're supposed to make good decisions. So we need to put pressure on our governments to make them realize that, you know, what they're doing in those, you know, container camps is just... It's completely crazy. You know, you go to those container camps, they're rabbit cages. You have a warm bed and that's all you have. Nothing. You can't make yourself a cup of tea. You can't invite people. You cannot make friends. Uh, you, you're like, like a rabbit in a cage. You can't do anything. The only thing that is okay about this container camp is that this jungle around exist around it and that people have a place to go during the day to talk with people to to make plans to to play cards to uh, live to, to live mm. to live and uh, uh, the container camp by itself is not enough at all and not enough from a from this integration point of view where they're isolated mm. here there is no isolation from the people who choose to be with refugees yeah something very special happening here in spite of the living conditions and I think and it, have you got ideas of doing similar things in other areas or have you got well, too much you know, to do I mean, here this just was it, this just happened in a very organic way there was no plan to make this the refugees made it did you help a lot did you facilitate things a lot or could well, they have done this all without you I mean they've needed you know, donations of material and things like that. But all the first restaurants, they build them themselves. They're the ones who decided to build a restaurant. This church, you know, Solomon came and said, Maya, the church burned down. We need to build a big, a big church. Will you help us? And I was like, okay, we, let's see if we can find you wood. Let's see if I can find you donations of wood, uh, you know, and this is what I brought. But they didn't ask me, you know, they, you know, I didn't have any say-so in what kind of church they built. They, they decided.